I felt really stirred in my spirit. Actually, when I was walking and praying, the voice of the Lord spoke to me this word. He said to me, he said, Jezebel called for a fast. In that moment, the spirit realm opened to me, and I suddenly saw in the realm of the spirit a great clash unfolding, a battle between two queens, two tables, and two fasts for America's future. The table of Jezebel with her children and the table of the Lord with the true church. Both have flesh and blood. Yet these tables symbolize the spiritual nourishment and allegiance to two opposing forces. At Jezebel's table, her children feast on deception, pride, and corrupt ambition of the world. They fill themselves with bitterness of rebellion and allure of power and darkness of witchcraft. The food they consume is tainted. Their spirits enslaved by the seduction of false idolatries and lies of the enemy. In a stark contrast, the table of, of the Lord invites the true church in this hour to partake in the bread of life and the cup of salvation. Here the faithful gather to receive spiritual strength, unity, and divine wisdom. The table of the Lord is adorned with the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. In this place of refuge where the soul finds rest and the heart is renewed. Those who dine at this table are nourished by the word of God, empowered by his grace, and bound together by the fellowship of the spirit. This profound dichotomy between the two tables sets the stage for what is happening in the earth right now. On one side, Jezebel's table conspires to spread chaos, undermine righteousness, and enslave and ensnare souls in darkness. On the other hand, the Lord's table stands as a beacon of hope, truth, and eternal life, calling the true church to arise and stand firm, proclaim the gospel with boldness. It is a call to choose where one will dine, to whom one will pledge their allegiance in the unfolding battle that is occurring for the future of America and beyond. Just as Queen Jezebel and Queen Esther once stood in, co in stark contrast, so does the kingdom of light and darkness now contend for the soul of America today. There is a battle not just for the nation, but for the very essence of its future. This is a prophetic hour an urgent call for the true church of Jesus Christ to rise up and proclaim the word of the Lord. As Derek Prince once proclaimed, we can shape history through prayer and fasting. The spirit of Jezebel, ancient and insidious, has found new life within the modern woke agenda and the dark arts of witchcraft in the nation of America. Under the guise of social justice, it manipulates, deceives, and seeks to usurp divine authority. It operates under, operates under the guise of love, and yet its heart is set on destruction and control. Jezebel declared a fast, not to seek the face of God, but to further her own wicked plans. Her fast was a fast of deception, a spiritual manipulation that led to the shedding of blood to take the land she sought to possess. Again in this day, the witch has waved her wand to stir those under her control to fast so that she may take the land. Jezebel's fast is cloaked in piety and is a ruse, a sinister strategy to further her agenda of chaos and control.
she is spurred by a blend of ideological fever and occultic practices. It works to dismantle the foundations of truth and righteousness in our country. I believe that unless a dramatic change happens in the coming days, the nation of America will be in a place of darkness where she will, will be fully overshadowed. The Spirit of the Lord would say, beware of those who wear masks of virtue but harbor deceit and rebellion. The spirit of Jezebel is alive, hidden within the woke movement and the witch's circle, corrupting the very essence of truth. It whispers lies, spreads falsehoods, sows discord among the unassuming. The spirit seeks to silence my prophet, says the Lord, to extinguish the very light of truth and to lead the people into confusion and darkness. Discern the spirit. For not all that practice justice and equality walk in my ways. They dine with Jezebel, feasting on deception. They seek to entangle the church in their web of lies for political gain. The Spirit of the Lord said, Witches, form an alliance at this time to fast and bring an utter end to America and the pure church who seek God's face for a supernatural move of God in this nation. In a stark contrast, the anointing of Esther rises with unblemishing purity, unwavering courage, and a heart fully surrendered to God. Esther's fast was genuine, a plea of divine intervention and the salvation of her people. It was an act of humble submission, seeking the face of God in favor of the Almighty. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, Arise. My Esthers, for your time has come. I have chosen you for such a time as this. Your, fast, your fasting and prayer are a fragrant offering, a holy incense that delights in my heart. As you humble yourself and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and I will hear, heal your land. Just as I delivered my people through Esther, so shall I deliver America through those who stand in the gap with a pure heart. There is a momental spiritual warfare upon this nation at this time. Two kingdoms are locked right now in fierce combat. Two kingdoms vying for dominion over this country. A kingdom of darkness propelled by the spirit of Jezebel, fortified by the woke agenda and witchcraft, seeking to, to subsurgate and annihilate the very presence of the Lord from the country. Yet the kingdom of God is embodied by Esther's spirit, and it rises right now with the spirit of truth and justice. The Spirit of the Lord declares, My kingdom is everlasting. My dominion spans all generations. The battle is mine, says the Lord. Stand resolute. Arm yourself with the armor of God in this, in this hour. Wield the sword of the Spirit. I am assembling, says God, a remnant, a remnant of prophetic Esthers, those who will fast, pray, and seek my face, and turn many from the wicked path. Through them, I will orchestrate a divine and grand deliverance that will cause a sweeping revival to engulf this nation. At this critical juncture, the Lord summons his true prophets to emerge and declare his word with unending courage and clarity. The prophetic voice must, must discern the times, expose the schemes of darkness, and proclaim the truth of God's word. We must not succumb to the spirit of the fear of man or submit to the spirit of, of religion. The spirit of Jehu calls for Jezebel to be cast down from her lofty perch in this nation. Those who wish for the church to remain silent in wickedness, that in, uh, that in, in, in the happenings all around us are simply fallen under the spell and the lure of Jezebel that has taken the church to, to a place of sleep. Yeah. It is a high time to wake from slumber. We live in a time of shadows, make-believe platforms with, with fake followers generated by AI technology. Yeah. 
This is why we can no longer fear those that seem to be in spiritual authority if their message is to comply and go quietly into the night. This is, this is a time where Jehu must come forth and proclaim, throw her down from her high place. The Spirit of the Lord declares, let my true prophet stand. Proclaim my word without fear or compromise. Unmask the deceit of Jezebel's spirit, the woke agenda, and witchcraft, and summon my people to repentance and a genuine fast. For I am purging my bride, says the Lord, refining her like gold in a crucible. Those who have ears, let them hear. Let them heed what the Spirit is saying to the church. The hour is late. My grace abounds. Stand in the breach, intercede for America, and declare my truth. For I am with you. I will not abandon you. But the destiny of America hangs in the balance. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, in the tipping point, there is a crash. We will either see the crashing of society or we will see the crashing of God's power again in this country. The clashing of the kingdoms is a divine summon, a call to spiritual arms for the faithful. To stand steadfast for the battle of the Lord's. Fast God is calling to is a fast of authenticity, to pray with intensity, and to proclaim the truth with authority. The spirit of Esther will triumph over the spirit of Jezebel, and the glory of the Lord will envelop the earth as the water covers the sea. I want us to stand tonight.